Hello, in today's video, I have for you a vintage estate sale haul, and we're going to visit my friend Clay Ramage's uh, office warehouse for his reselling business. We'll see lots of his cool stuff. So here we go. I am here in Hopkins, Minnesota. This is a favorite little coffee shop of mine. It's called Monka Beans. If you ever come to Hopkins, check it out. They have great sandwiches. I'm gonna grab coffee for me and for my friend Clay Ramage. He's another YouTuber. And so I'm gonna pick us up coffees and then head to his little office warehouse storage area where he stores all his reselling things he does a ton of reselling online there's something I'm picking up from him that his wife and he are giving me and then I thought I'd get a little footage of his storage area so you can see all his cool stuff so let's grab some coffee and head to Clay's look I found the man and coffee and yeah. gave him his coffee <laughs> now we'll go see all his cool stuff well, fun. <laughs> I'll lead the way Don't all right Art wall. Small sampling. Right. And what else could you have possibly done with all this? Like and for the amount of money. It's yeah. Crazy. So no, it works well. Put this in the basement. Look at all this good stuff. Ugh. That is cute. The little chicky. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you've got it all priced. Some of it. So you just like grab and go. That's cool. Part of my rotation. Oh, if you're interested um, oh, in these little guys. Yeah, yes, of course. Little clean right, they caught my eye before when I was putting my camera down. Oh my gosh, adorable. Love, love. And these are, and I didn't, you don't have to take them. They're okay. pattern keepers. Oh, like little, it, oh yeah, yeah, so that if you, yeah, that's very cool. There's two of Thanks. those. Oh, those are very cool. I could even and use them for my cross-stitch patterns. Yeah. I could use those for my cross-stitch patterns too. Yeah. It was full of patterns when I got it. Nice. And then I, so this I is where the magic happens. Photos, okay. And then this is where I film a video oh because i filmed through the window oh i never this is not what i expected <laughs> it this is not what it looks like in your videos fascinating <laughs> isn't it the magic of television but the weirdest thing is why would you put a window yeah in like the what was this room i promised them to look at all your stuff oh yeah. so people might be emailing you Oh. To sell, to buy things. Yeah, awesome. Oh my gosh, what a sweet picture. He's Isn't actually awesome? smiling. Yeah. Kids in pictures are never smiling. I like keep thinking I should in the olden it, days. I just like it too much. Yeah. And my old cars, of course, I gotta yep. put old cars up. But very cool. That's pretty. Isn't that cool? Okay, What's so your self sealing is, mat all about? Well this is where I do my shipping. Okay. And because I make, like, when I'm shipping artwork, I make custom corners, ah, cardboard corners. Yep. And so I use smart. this to protect the tabletop, and then I can Very cut smart. on it and yeah, not worry, about, not worry it. about it. And then when I'm working on upholstery projects, which, of course, this was, I just finished the video <gasps> on my chair. Yes. Redoing my chair. Oh, my gosh, then it's I have gorgeous. It for using that, too, so. Impressive. Yep, and then all of all the shipping stuff. Some of those boxes you gave me. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad stuff. they're getting used. Yep. So, and that's what's nice is having this dedicated area for yeah. shipping stuff. This is guys. this wall is the eBay wall. All of that. Stuff. Okay, it's already listed, or it's it will be listed. listed. Okay, it is listed. Okay, everything on that wall is listed. So all these things are listed. If anyone sees anything they like, you can go to Clay's eBay. What is your eBay name? It's um, Clay's Collections. Clay's Collections. That's my store name. Okay. Ooh, bumping into things. What are these, ties? Yes, just you, listed a bunch of ties. Do you, what are those bags? You buy the bags? Yeah. Cool. What is this, Clay? Uh -oh. Wait, hold on a second. What is this? Oh my word. Yeah. It's a burp cloth. Oh my gosh. It's just a small. That is. With uh, on the back. adorable. I might have to go to Clay's collection. <laughs> <laughs> Those are uh, mostly hankies and scarves. How much do you sell a hanky for on eBay? Um, depending on which one it is. Like that California one is pretty popular. I think that's $12.99. Uh -huh. Anywhere, I usually list $5.99 to $12.99. Okay. Unless they're really special hankies like these, which are hand-painted. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Brand new still with the label. There's three of them, all yeah. hand-painted with beautiful floral scenes. Yeah. And these I have all, I think, I've listed all three together for, okay. I think, 30. Nice. That so. is funny. That's a funny little pumpkin guy. Yeah. 
She's... I was going to take him down to the pink elephant, but I had him on eBay thinking he would sell right away, but he didn't. Right. I think it's because it's got a crack. Oh, yeah. Someone will buy him at the pink elephant. Yeah, that's why I think the show. I'm always really shocked at what people take him buy at the eBay shop. And put him on. She's cute. Yeah, I just found her at the bins. She's sweet. So, yeah. That's the largest rolling pin I've ever seen. <laughs> You don't have like an idea of the scale here, but here's my hand. <laughs> that is enormous. The roller is 15 inches and the whole oh width is, is 24. That's for a muscle man. I don't even think like. <laughs> I know it's <laughs> like, came from the bins. Build weights, build muscles, uh, and rolling this is all dough with stuff that. in transition. Well, okay. I'm trying to decide what to do. Some of it goes to Pink Elephant, but I don't have room to put it out yet. Okay. Some of it'll go on like that old fashioned telephone. Yeah. I need to test that. Okay. List it. Now, will that hook up to modern day? Yeah. It does. It's just like the one that we have at the pink elephant. Okay. Oh, Whoa. the rock put out. Oh, I don't, I don't remember. So, He's sweet. This little guy. Cute. Yeah. Nice. I can't wait till yard sale season starts. No, Cindy and I are the same way. I'm so excited. Do you have to set up a time do one of those neighborhood sales that you and Chris yes. and Cindy and I go? Oh my gosh, that'd be fun. Wouldn't it? Yeah, we would totally do that. Chris likes to go every week. This is cute. I might pay $7.99 for that. That's adorable. He's really cute. No, I need to take it. Play is sharing knowledge because people always tell me that's a Royal Copley planner and I don't know what that means. So now he's going to tell me. So this is Royal Copley. One, you could buy the book. Okay. We have books out to tell you every one of them. But they usually use paper labels. Sometimes they're marked on the bottom. Sometimes okay. they're not. But if they have these thin um, rails to sit okay. on, that is almost always Royal Copley because they were the only ones that used the thin rails. A number of companies used like this oh, where they're thicker. Oh, I see the difference. Yeah. Okay. So, so we, right. we redid uh, Clay's backdrop for his next video. We went with a green like theme. That definitely looks like a shamrock, and I bet it glows. Okay, this is going on eBay. If anybody wants, if it, anyone wants some uranium glow. glass, <laughs> let's see if it glows. It's too bright. Not here. too bright. Yeah. Going the <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, fantastic! That's really cute. Definitely it looks is. like a shamrock. So these are all from Clay's eBay shelves, almost except for her. Wait. Was she eBay? Yep, she's eBay. Okay. No, this was the one thing that wasn't. Yes. That's not listed yet. And the uh, parrot, because he's broken. He's a little broken, but we thought he deserved a day in the sun. <laughs> and I think this was from his linens box. Yep. But the other stuff is listed. So if you're interested in anything you see, not this painting, he's not sure. He's not committing to selling that yet. It's gorgeous for spring, though. It is. And this was here already. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, yeah. Okay, so I hope that was fun. I want to take a moment to show you the pots that Clay and Cindy gave to me. So this is awesome because this is one that I was hunting after. It's a stock pot. I do not have a stock pot. So the whole reason I'm after these pots is because we had bought pots and pans when Maddie was, right before Maddie was born, I was like, we're having children, we're starting our family, we're never gonna have money again, let's buy pots and pans now. So we did, and they were great for a long time, but they were hard anodized aluminum and the coating like started to come off and that makes me nervous. So we got rid of, we've been gradually getting rid of them. We got rid of the worst ones first. Stock pot isn't so bad, but happy to be able to replace it. So now I have my Revere Wear stock pot. I can get rid of the other one. And so that is very cool because that was one of the main pieces that I've been looking for. So thank you, Clay and Cindy. And then they also gave me some other ones that I don't have. So this was so exciting. So it's the shorter saucepan. I have one that's like tall. It's a very strange size. So this is a really cool size. I don't have this one with the lid and then I don't have either of these skillets so there's like two skillets and I don't know if you can see this one's a little um, smaller than this one so really nice they nest that was loud so anyway I was super I was super excited to get those then a few other things because Clay is extremely generous to me and 
uh, when I was there, he gave me some things. So I saw this because I don't know if you remember, I picked up a longer burger mug for myself, but the hand, it must have been like cracked and I didn't notice it when I bought it. Maybe got worse in the, when I washed it. I don't know. But anyway, there is a crack on the handle on mine. Mine is um, green. This has blue on it. I don't know if you can see, but um, so he's like, you can have that if you want it. I was like, really? Because mine, the handle's definitely going to break off of mine at some point. So I was like, sure, I'll take that. So I have a new Longer Burger pottery mug. I really like these. That's probably why, like, if it had a flaw, it goes through the wash all the time because I like them. It like, it's a good weight and I really like the handle. You get four fingers there. So anyway, so I was happy to have a new one. And then you might have seen these in the video. He gave me two little creamers for my collection. This one's adorable nice mid-century lines on that and then this one's really cute this will be great for fall this one says seaport hand-painted ceramics so i'll probably set that aside for fall for a little vignette so those are fun and then the best thing that he gave me holy cow well besides the pots and pans i love the pots and pans but look at this barnyard baby so he had gone to i think an estate sale and bought all of these now it's a book but it's in pieces so he can't really sell it so he's like do you want it i was like yes <laughs> so i just want it for the artwork i think i'll because you can clip these to clipboards that's a good way to display this kind of artwork or you can put them in frames but oh my gosh some of these are outrageous i'm going to show you my favorite one though where is it give me a sec oh gosh that one's really cute actually that's a double page adorable but look at this one where is it oh the duckies it's so cute it's ridiculous so cute <laughs> oh they're so cute i love the squirrels and then oh <laughs> the bunnies that is totally getting displayed probably on a clipboard for the season that is so cute so anyway, that was a super fun little gift that he gave to me. Okay, so let's move on to my estate sale haul. So I went on bag day. I spent $12.50 on my haul. And that is because I spent $10 a bag on a bag and $2.50 on this. It was um, $10 for a bag for anything you could fit in a bag. If you couldn't fit it, it was 75% off. So originally I had this in my bag, but then I took it out because I wanted to fit other things. They had this marked at $10 and I got it for $2.50. This will be for the shop. So there's, it's great to have little display things like this set around your space just to give like visual interest and it's great for displaying knickknacks. So that was cool. If you're not, if you're new to my channel, if you're not familiar, I do a bit of reselling in a booth at a vintage shop called the Pink Elephant in Hopkins, Minnesota. Clay also sells there. We are booth partners. We split the booth. So he also has, he's been growing his business. He has lots of other spaces. I actually just acquired a locked shelf on the first floor where I can put uh, items that are slightly more valuable or jewelry. So anyway, that's what's happening at, at the Pink Elephant and that's what that little shelf will be for. I'm going to insert some footage of another piece. So I put this piece in place already, my little hat here, but then also I'll insert some footage of another piece that I found that I was so excited about. So this piece, I'm not sure if it's Polish pottery, but you can tell, you can see here, it looks very much like my Polish pottery. It isn't marked, but this was a sale of older items. So I don't know if Polish pottery used to not have that same mark don't know but I love it and it goes really well with my Polish pottery so I'm loving how it looks up here on top of my china cabinet okay so that was a really cool find and that was in my bag so everything else that I'm going to show you I paid ten dollars for everything else I picked up these napkins the reason was I needed something to wrap some of my breakables in but also I plan to resell these napkins um, cloth napkins actually sell really well for me i have sold multiple sets of them so i'm gonna try those at the shop it's a nice color for you know the, the seasons coming up so we'll see i don't sell them for very much but and then i did pick this up because um these cloth bags the canvas bags are all the rage with the used molly keeps asking me to pick up ones for her so i will put this at the shop 
if she wants it, she can have it. And if not, I think it'll sell because of it's so pretty with the flowers for the uh, spring and summer. This, this I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet. So it's so cool. It is like a, well, you can tell me it's like a necessities pouch or a um, essentials pouch. I don't know what exactly to call it, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So they had it marked at $4. Again, it was part of my $10 purchase, but it's so cool. Because, well, first of all, the print is totally 60s and psychedelic. I love it. But then when you look inside, it's not medicines. It's like Jiffy Towelettes, um, Repel Away, Insect Repellent, Galaxy Brand, Antiseptic Moist Towelettes, <clears throat> excuse me, Safe Trip Deodorant, um, Cell Clean Instant Spot Remover, Nail Clean Nail Polish Remover, and Mr. Shine Instant Shoe Shine. Oh, oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? So I can imagine a lady might have slipped this in her purse, you know, so she would have anything her family might need while they were on the go. Fantastic. So I haven't decided if I'll sell this or not yet. I might hold on to it for a little while just because it's really cute and then sell it at some point. Okay. Also for, let's see, for the shop, we'll show you the rest of the things for the shop and then I'll show you what I'm keeping. This is weird. Uh, so it's this little case with a magnifier. I don't, I don't really know why. Maybe I actually really have no idea. What do you think about that? Like, do you think it was just like instead of reader glasses or something? I don't know. You carry around your eyepiece? I don't know. I really don't know. They originally had it at $3. That's kind of high. I wouldn't have paid that. And then I also got this tray for the shop. It looks like a scene in like maybe Chinatown or something. Not really sure. I thought it was cute and it's made in Japan. So I'm not really sure what the scene is supposed to be. They had it marked at $8. It went into my bag, but that was cool. I thought that would go well with the shop. And then they had these marked at $5. Are they coasters? Do you think they're co They're not very big. I can't imagine they're, they're ashtrays because they're kind of paper. They, it seems like they might ignite. So I don't really know what they're supposed to be, but I thought they were cute. And they are also marked made in Japan. Oh, there's another price on them. It says eight for $8 or $5. I don't know. Either way, I got them for pennies because they just went into my bag. Okay. And that is it for the shop. Those are the items. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. I did get two other things for the shop. These are really cool. So it's this super cute woven bag purse. I need to clean up the top, but I think one of the youths, they come in looking for stuff like this often and it's pretty clean inside. I need to, you know, I just need to wipe it out. It has a mirror, pretty cute, pretty cute. I like it and I think someone else will like it too. So I got that one and then I got another one that is adorable, which is also for the shop. Ah, this is perfect for spring. Look at that, it is so cute. And it has this little closure, it's like a button and a loop. And then this one's really clean inside. It says made in Japan. So yeah, so I thought that was adorable as well because I think someone will love it. Okay, now that truly is all that I got for the shop. The other items I have for, are for me. Picked up this cloche. I don't know why they ever had $18 on it. It's not even that big. It looks like it was probably from a clock. I'm like, really? Why did you have $18 on this? That's kind of wild. So I got it. I This is one of the things I wrapped in my napkins. But this is going to be great for the spring. I'll do some kind of display in there. And then for my collection in the bathroom, someone had sent me one of these. It's a soap holder. This one, the clasp is broken. So you can see it's like missing the part that would hold it together, but that's fine. It's just going to sit in my bathroom, probably like this. I could do like a little display for Easter in here. I thought that would be cute. I could put a little um, like moss and a bunny in here in the bathroom. I don't do a ton of decor in my bathroom, but I could set it like this as well, but I, I just like the way that looks. I just think it's kind of cool. So I'll probably do some kind of little display in there for Easter for my decor in my bathroom. And then also for myself, I have a collection of these uh, boxes. Most of mine are clear glass with like gold brass, gold colored brass, whatever. 
around the edges. This one is different. It's like a purple glass. And there's this funky kind of etching on the top and then it's the darker metal. But it's along the, it go it's it's similar enough that it goes with my collection. I set all these on my dresser in my bedroom and I just have like vintage compacts in there and I put jewelry of, that I actually wear in there. So it's just a nice little collection to have on my dresser. Okay, so I think that's it. I think we have done it. We got to the end of my estate sale haul. I love the things that I found. Thank you, Clay, for telling me about it. Also, thank you to Clay and Cindy for my pots and pans and for letting me tour your little shop. And I hope this was enjoyable for all of you. If you saw anything at Clay's Place that you liked, make sure you check out his eBay shop and his channel. And I will see you on Sunday with a thrift with me. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye.